Hey, what's going on? You have Aaron Civitrez here, but my friends call me Civi. I'm coming at you live from Brockai Island in the Philippines. Just coming back from the house we've been living in for about five years. It's my best buddy over here, Jove Schrotman's house. This is his compound. This is Mandala Spawn Resort Villas. And I tell you guys what, if you ever come to the Philippines, you come here for a massage, you come here to get pampered and taken care of. It's an award-winning place. My wife was a GM here for a few years. Amazing experience. So if you guys are pile on watching the replay, let me know where you're coming in from. Let me know the last time you got a massage, what you think about massages. I don't know, something interesting. So, okay, here we go. Today is day number one of a 21 day Facebook Live challenge that I'm doing. What's up, Chu? How you doing? Welcome. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what Facebook Lives have actually done for me in my reality because I've been doing Facebook Lives for almost a year now and I have to say it's changed my life. It's absolutely crazy to think that something as as you know I don't know what you would want to call it but a Facebook Live is it's more than just a video of yourself. Wow I'm very shiny. Whew. I'm sweating. Nadia and I are moving to Europe tomorrow, so we're walking around uh, on the island today and I am sweating my ass off, as you can tell. Going around the island saying goodbye to friends, uh, tying up loose ends, you know, a bunch of things when you move. Of course, we've been living in Asia now almost a decade and uh, we're going to leave our beautiful home here and we're going to move to Europe. So that's why I'm sweating my ass off. If you see me glistening and breathing, it's because I'm running around. But one of my mentors actually challenged us to do a 21 day Facebook live challenge. And this is something that we do inside of our private communities, inside of our Facebook groups. If any of you guys are in any of my Facebook groups, you're aware that we do Facebook challenges all the time. And a big part of the reason we do that is because Facebook lives, they do a lot of things for you. And some of those examples could be, you know, things like giving yourself confidence where people are scared or they have a fear to put themselves out there. Just jumping on a Facebook Live and just going around and talking about whatever topic it is you're talking about. It, it helps you when you can see a replay of yourself talking and you can critique the way that you're interacting with people and the verbiage you're using and everything like that. Plus, it positions you as an authority, right? So say if you're a network marketer, if you're in direct sales or if you're in some sort of affiliate program on the internet, which I'm sure most of you are, um, a big part of this is no liking and trusting people, right? And if you're on a Facebook Live and you're talking from the heart and you're giving quality information, people will get to know, like, and trust you, right? So here we are, I'm just at the resort, or at the uh, spa villas. These are some of the spa massage rooms where they have amazing, amazing massages. I'm gonna get one more massage tomorrow before we leave. Can you imagine I've been living in this spa resort for the better part of a decade now? It's absolutely magical. It's changed my life. Um, so that's one of the things that happens when you do a Facebook Live. You, be, you become seen, you, you, you're seen as an authority figure, right? Now, of course, it depends on the type of content you're putting out. <laughs> if you put out garbage content that's not valuable to anybody, of course, people aren't gonna watch you. You're not gonna get any engagement. But let me know in the comments, guys. You guys watching live right now, I can see you there. I can see uh, Zoo, I can see, I can't say your name, sorry, Andrew. And Neil, Chu, how you guys doing? Let me know in the comments. Do you guys do Facebook Lives? Drop a yes or a no if you guys do Facebook Lives. And if you're not doing them, let me know why. If it has to do with fear because you're scared of what people will think, I can tell you right now, that's an absolute crock of shit, okay? Don't worry about what people think about you, <laughs> right? When people judge other people, you have to understand that they're just judging from their own perspective of understanding of whatever it is you're talking about. And they're also judging from a place of uh, insecurity on their own behalf because maybe they don't have the courage to go live on a Facebook Live, right? They're, they're judging you for that. So you can't let other people's fears and problems dictate or manipulate anything you're doing. So I'm just gonna walk through the reception here. We'll say hi to the girls working. They're gonna trip out when they see this. And then uh, I'll take you guys to the resort area and we'll just do a little bit of walking around. So here's the reception. Here's some of the nice ladies. 
Hi. Hi. Very kind here at Mandela Spa. So this is the reception area where everybody gets uh, ready for the massage, little boutique there. Right? So, you know, for me personally, when I started doing Facebook Lives, you know, I was, I had a lot of nerves, right? I was scared of what people were thinking. I, I didn't know what I was gonna talk about. I thought, who the hell's gonna listen to me? I don't have anything valuable to say. You know, these are all the things that your mind puts into there to try to stop you from doing things, right? So you can't let that fear stop you. That's the whole point. Um, anything in life that is worth doing or worth chasing is gonna be fearful at the beginning. You're gonna have a lot of fear. Hi. There's another reception. This is for the resort area. And up here, that's a restaurant. That's a beautiful vegan restaurant that's amazing. We eat there almost every day. <laughs> So when you're feeling fear for say a Facebook Live or something else, doesn't matter what it is, you have to understand that that's just a defense mechanism that your body's putting in place to try to stop you, right? To keep you safe. So if you can break through that fear and just go live and do your first Facebook Live, you'll be amazed at what happens, right? You'll be amazed at how quickly you realize that the fear wasn't just. It simply was something that was there to try to stop you from getting outside of your comfort zone. And we all know that growth and everything that's amazing comes from outside of your comfort zone, right? So if you're not doing any Facebook Lives, don't, don't let the fear stop you because we all fe feel that. The first time I did a Facebook Live, I was totally scared. I didn't know what to say. Now I don't care. I just click live and I go live. Check this out here, guys. I got a funny story about this little place. So this here, this is like a little sort of breakfast nook area. And I actually sat right there and I filmed a ClickFunnels audition video because I auditioned to try to be on their um, stage selling team. I basically want to learn from Russell Brunson. Russell, if you're watching this, come on, buddy. <laughs> I want to learn from Russell Brunson how to stage sell. And they were taking applications and I sent in a video Obviously I didn't get it because you don't see me selling on stage, but you will one day. And I'll probably play this video back at some point when I meet Russell. This used to actually be a juicery here. I guess it's not running at this moment. They're probably doing some refurbishments and stuff. Now, so let's just talk a little bit about that fear. People have fears on Facebook Lives. One thing that you can do that one of my millionaire mentors told us to do when people were feeling fearful is to do what's called a walkabout, right? And a walkabout is simply when you grab your phone, you go for a simple walk. And when you're walking, it seems to flow easier than if you're just sitting at your computer staring at that camera, right? So a great example of that is this right now, what I'm doing right now, this moment. And I did this for a reason, right? This is what we call a Facebook Live walkabout. And if you're new to Facebook Lives or you're feeling fearful, this is a great way to start because Number one, you don't feel fear when you're walking around talking because you're, you have more stimuli coming into your consciousness than just realizing that you're on camera, right? Like I have to watch where I'm going, I'm saying hi to people. So it takes away some of the fear because you're not focused on yourself on camera. And another thing, maybe if you don't have a lot of content to talk about, maybe you're not sure exactly what to say, you can just simply tell them about your surroundings, right? Like I don't need to come on here and give you guys a speech about any specific topic i could just simply walk around and say this is a resort villa you know look at these beautiful flowers here the beach is just down there i'm gonna walk up here a little bit like i could just talk like that if i wanted to and that would be a successful facebook live right because again the point of facebook lives i mean there's lots of points but one of the main reasons is simply because you want people to know that you're a real person right that you're a genuine normal guy or girl and you know, you let them have a slight window into your life and you give them some value at the same time. But when you're giving us a, a window into your existence and where you're living and what you're doing, people see you as a real person. They get to know you, they get to like you, they get to trust you. And we all know that the best business partners, the best business deals, all of that is built on like, likability, trustability, getting to know people. So you can accomplish that on Facebook Live very easy because this is a portal that we're on right now, right? Hey Gary, how you doing? 
Gary says, great advice. Hey, Nikki, nice to see you there. Hey, Phil's in the house. How you doing, Phil? Wait. Wong, nice to see you, Wong. Yeah. So let me know in the comments if this is making sense, guys. I mean, this is day one of 21. I'm no stranger to Facebook Lives. I'm no stranger to Facebook Live challenges. Inside our communities and our groups, we do them all the time. But I wanted to do this number one today, and I want to specifically talk about the fear that people have and how you can break it. And the fact that the fear is not rooted in anything real. Fear is an illusion. It's all inside your mind. You think people are judging you, they're not even paying attention. Let's get real, right? You think people are making fun of you or they're looking at you funny because you're holding a selfie stick talking to a camera. They aren't even looking at you, right? People don't give a shit anymore. Everyone's desensitized. And you know what? If they are judging you, they can. They can judge all they want because they don't know what you're doing. They don't understand what you're doing and what your plan is in your life, right? It's not for them to understand. It's your journey. So just do what you want to do, right? That's how I see it. Because I'll be honest, right? When I first started doing Facebook Live, Facebooks in general, Facebook Lives, or even selfie videos, any, even selfie pictures, I used to be shy to hold up the phone and go like this, you know, in front of a bunch of people because I would think that I looked like some sort of an egotistical, you know, Instagram model girl or something, no offense, but that's how I felt. And that wasn't valid. Hey guys, a couple of the gardeners here. These guys keep the grounds looking amazing. I felt like that. And, you know, again, that was just my internal dialogue trying to stop me from getting outside of my comfort zone. And you can stop that. You can stop that by simply telling it, no, I'm gonna do it anyway, right? You click that live button, you start talking. Now, this is a 21 day challenge and I hope everyone in our community is gonna join. Here's the guard house. There, these guys keep us safe. What's up guys? Here's the housekeeping staff. Amazing staff here at Mandala. This is the e-trike. This is one of the businesses that I had here on the, on the island. I was importing these trikes from uh, Japan. It's one of my buddy's new scramblers. It's awesome. We're just going to have a steak and lobster dinner tonight at the house for a goodbye dinner with some of my friends. So that'll be fun. I'll take you guys down. This is quite the driveway here. I'll take you down to the road and you can see actually the reality of what this island looks like on the road. It's a shit show out there. It's very entertaining, it's very fun, but a lot of times people only see the, you know, the, the five-star hotels and the fancy breakfasts and the, the white sand beach. There's a lot more to it than that, I can guarantee you. So I'm just gonna walk down onto the road and then I'm gonna take you guys around the block and I'm gonna take you down to sort of the back entrance to our house and uh, there's a basketball court there and all the local guys are having a tournament right now. They're, they're doing some day drinking, so they're having some fun. So we'll go there and check that out also. And uh, yeah, like I said, this is day one of 21 for the Facebook Live Challenge. And each day I'm gonna go live and each day I'm gonna talk about different topics and things, but it's gonna be more based around, you know, it's gonna be more based around the journey that I'm personally on right now because we're about to move to Europe and you know, we have our dog and everything. So that's gonna be funny. It says now open because the island closed, remember? Remember the island closed, so now it's open again. There's the beautiful entrance. There's the, the signage. So let's go down here. I'll just let these guys go by. How you doing, guys? Hi. Good. Ice shop here. These guys keep our drinks cold. Perfect. So this is essentially this wall here. Basically goes around the entire property. What's up, guys? Yeah. 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 People are so nice here. 
everybody's friendly and smiling all the time. So this wall here you see on my, on my right over here, um, it goes around the whole property where we live and uh, it encompasses the whole spa and the resort and the event center and my wife's uh, nail salon and the three houses that we have, well, one house we have and two of our neighbors. And um, it's a beautiful grounds. It's a beautiful ground. So we're just down on the back road. This is like, uh, you know, the sneaky way to enter without going through the actual reception. So before we go up there, let me just take you into the vessel here real fast. So this is called the vessel. This here, this is an old, uh, not old, but it's not opening. It's not open right now. That's where they make bread and pastries and stuff. So we have fresh bread all the time. Oh, I think it's closed. Oh, they closed it. Hmm. Well, it's closed. It's okay. We'll keep walking. There's not much signal down here, so there's a good chance that the stream just went off, but it's recording, so the recording will be uh, live for you guys that are watching on the recording. You guys watching on the replay, have any of you guys been to the Philippines before? Have you guys been over to uh, Southeast Asia, hung out here anywhere? These used to be tea houses. Those were operational about uh, three years ago selling juice presses and teas and snacks and stuff. So we'll just keep rolling here. Try not to get hit by the tricycles. So Wow, am I sweating. Welcome to living in uh, Philippines, guys. I'm always sweating like this. It's, it's actually quite healthy, you know, to be sweating this much all the time. Detoxifying, it's like living in a sauna. Huh. You gotta see the positive in life, guys. You'll never get out alive. All right, so, if you guys are wondering why it's so smooth when I walk, it's because I have one of those gimbals right now. I hooked a gimbal onto my phone so it's very smooth. I'll just turn the camera around and you guys can see this. They're having a basketball tournament. A little barbecue going here. Good times. Ooh. All right, now we'll jump back here. They're just building a hotel there. And here is our, this is our back gate. So we come up these stairs and it'll take us back to the house where we started. So you just had a bit of a tour of Mandala Spa and Resort Villas, our home in the Philippines. It is absolutely magically beautiful. And today is day one of 21, guys. So for the next, oop, my gimbal died. <laughs> the gimbal died, no. For the next 21 days, I will be going live and I'll be talking about various marketing strategies, personal development strategies, things that I'm learning on my journey, things that are helping me and our team and other people succeed online and in life. And also I'll be taking you on the adventure that we're on because we're traveling from Philippines to Manila, to Singapore, to Moscow, to Rostov-on-Don in Russia. Final destination. We'll be there a month and then we'll head over to Italy. So keep an eye on my page, keep an eye on my stories. It's gonna be fun. And thank you for tuning in to this Facebook Live.
challenge day number one of 21. Tag your friends, share this video if you got some value, if you thought it was fun, and I'll see you on the next one.